So I said I wasn't going to do these videos because every other trans guy in the community seems to have a million up and YouTube is full of them. Um, so I didn't really want to add to the cluster F of all the videos on YouTube. But I decided yesterday that I should probably make these for my own benefit, you know, to see the transition not only through writing, as in my blog or my journal, but, you know, visually too, because that's pretty cool. And this is exciting, so I want to um, document as much as I can. So, my name is Jonah. I just got my name legally changed yesterday, or er, two days ago, March 15th. Um, through the courts in Maricopa County. It was pretty painless. Um, I just si I wrote for a petition like two weeks ago. Then my court date was Friday and it's now Sunday. Uh, I just went in, basically told them that I'm not a felon and then they granted it. They gave me a, a certified copy that I have to take to the DMV in Social Security and Vital Records uh, this upcoming week, but it's spring break, so it won't be that bad. Let's see. I've been on T for a week and a half, almost two weeks. I've, it's Sunday. I take my third shot on Tuesday, uh, 50 milligrams every week, every Tuesday, um, so almost two weeks. I, I guess this will be my pre-T and two-week T video. I don't know. I'm not really planning on doing the videos on a strict regimen, just kind of whenever I want to do them. Because it's at my own discretion, so. I also wanted to do these videos because a lot of, a lot of um, trans guys are younger, because I'm 23 and I'm graduating from college in a month. And I haven't really found a lot of videos about people who are just starting to transition right when they're graduating and applying for real people jobs and going through that whole fiasco so I kind of picked a crappy time in my life to do this because it's already stressful but I thought about it and I'd rather go into a job as my new identity or a real identity rather than going in you know, making an impression and then putting it on them. I want them to just know what they're getting themselves into right away. And my name's legally changed now, so it's really not that big of a deal. I just have to change my gender marker and all the other stuff. So I'll be applying for a couple jobs this upcoming week as well. One's at a youth homeless uh, resource center for that uh, has an emphasis on LGBT youth who get kicked out of the house, which is really cool because it's something that I'm passionate about. And I luckily have not had to deal with any negative negativity at all with my family and extended family, but I'm in a relationship with somebody whose family doesn't accept my me and my current situation and transitioning and they're pretty religious so that's just another saga that I will probably continue to talk about um because you know maybe some of you guys are going through the same thing like I don't have any negativity in my family it's just her family um it's just sort of avoiding the subject which isn't that bad because they're still really friendly to her they don't take it out on her they just don't recognize me as a part of their life, which is okay for now. I mean, in the future, I'll probably get a little bit more frustrated. It's pretty frustrating already, but we'll see how that goes. Um, that's something I'll be talking about a lot, probably. She might be in a video, maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but also, so changes that I've had in almost two weeks, basically none. And that's okay because it's only been two weeks, but I kind of got my hopes up because a lot of, like, a friend of mine and also people who I watch on the internet, you know, they're like, oh, first week, oh, I'm a man now, you know, and you're supposed to have increased sex drive, increased um, hunger, increased energy, and I've actually had the opposite of all these things. I'm more tired. I do find it a little bit easier to wake up in the morning, but then I really get really, really tired after I wake up. 
and then I'm kind of awake for like three hours in the afternoon and I'm like hyper, but then by six or seven, I'm like, uh, I'm so tired, which sucks. Um, and it, that's what's creating a lot of irritability in me right now is because I'm just so tired and I just want to sleep all the time. It's pretty terrible. Um, I'm not, I'm less hungry. I've been getting more headaches maybe because I am hungry, but, and I'm not eating. I can't tell if I'm hungry. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not eating a lot. I'm eating less than I usually do. So, and I've lost a little bit of weight, I think, in my stomach and my hips, maybe just a little bit, not really a lot to really report yet. Um, I was always pretty hairy before I started taking testosterone because uh, I have PCOS, so I had like a little bit of chest hair and then like my happy trail was pretty prominent um, before I even started. But in the last two weeks, um, the chest hair and the stomach hair is actually connected in the middle. And so it's like growing and spreading and it's spreading out throughout my stomach to the sides, like to my hips. It's not really thick, but it's something that I notice when I take a shower. My arm and leg hair have gotten a lot more coarse and dark and fuller. I mean, I'm still not incredibly hairy in those areas, but it's growing. Um, oh, uh, peach fuzz that people typically have on their face. I had a lot like on the sides right here and it's just continuing to grow down. It's getting darker uh, on my sideburns. And then I had a lot right here and it's actually starting to extend upwards. And the hair right here is very coarse still white blonde but very coarse and my mustache is coming in full force right now i don't really want to shave yet because i kind of like seeing uh the hair grow i know if i shave i can see it grow the same but it's just a mental thing i don't know um my voice is probably the same maybe a tiny bit lower the second day i was on tea which was march 6th i yeah. i started <laughs> I started tea March 5th and it's now March 17th so the second day I had like a sore throat and I was like yes my voice is changing this is awesome but um it didn't change at all I just hurt for one day it feels a little bit more dry but not the typical like achiness or whatever okay I'm gonna get killed by fly um but not the achiness that a lot of guys talk about um so we'll see. I want to see if I can up my dose a little bit. Maybe I go to see the doctor in two weeks and maybe I'll talk to him about it because there's just no changes really besides hair. And I, I guess mentally I've been a little bit more irritable and I have a shorter temper, but not really. I think I'm just irritable because I'm really tired and I'm stressed. Like I am in an internship full time. I work at a crummy sports place. I, you know, I'm doing pieces of homework for my online class. I'm graduating, I'm applying for jobs, and I'm going through all this stuff, so it's pretty hard. But I've been trying to work out to kind of get out a lot of frustration, so hopefully it'll start working soon. Um, I don't really have a lot of peers in Phoenix, where I live right now, who are transgender. A lot of LGBT friends, but none that are specifically transgender in Phoenix. Um, but that's not really bothering me. I just like to hang out with people. I don't really care how they identify themselves. And I hang out with people who I think are funny. And if they happen to be transgender, that's fine. I don't feel the need to go to a support group or stuff because, I mean, it's my own journey and everybody goes through things differently. So I don't really want to hear other people's stories unless I ask specific questions um, because, you know, that's their own thing and I don't want to get in their business unless they're making it incredibly public, which I'm sort of doing right now, sort of not, I don't know. Um, what else? Something that I'm trying to work on is I'm trying to not live for the future. Like, I'm trying to live in the moment a little bit more. Like, I'm not, I'm trying not to live frustrated because all these changes aren't happening immediately. Uh, I feel like there's bugs everywhere, it's terrible. Um, but I'm trying to live in the moment, which is hard because I'm planning for my future right now with every single 
facet of my life. Um, but I'm trying to live for the moment and just enjoy every day I have here because I'm no longer depressed and sad about who I am. I'm really excited. So that's also something I'll be working on. So I think that's about it. Oh, and another change is my skin's been getting pretty oily. I haven't really broken out. My acne actually got a little bit better. Um, but we'll see. It's getting a little bit oily, so I've been having to wash it a little bit more and, I mean, scrub harder, but we'll figure it out. I'm not really that worried about getting acne. It'll go away, so it's just part of the process and I'm willing to roll with the punches. So I think that's about it for my first video. My name is Jonah and I'll be updating whenever I really want to because this is more or less for myself rather than, you know, keeping people updated every second, every single change. Like, this is just for, you know, to look back and see what I went through and maybe to help a couple people who are in my, you know, in my frame of mind with applying for jobs and all that good stressful stuff. So, okay, there's bees. Okay, so I'll see you when I see you.